Well, this fiery crash that you see here shut down the entire southbound side of the Bookman Bridge yesterday. Unfortunately, it was a deadly crash. We know that two people were killed. They were in a car that had broken down and had nowhere to go. And now tonight we are finding out why Troy Kless is live on your side in Orange Park with the details. Troy. In the wake of a deadly crash, some commuters are asking FDOT questions on social media. Like, why is there no longer a breakdown lane on the bridge? FDOT told First Coast News, because of the construction, a barrier wall is placed along portions of the roadway. You can see the wall by the left lane. FDOT says because of traffic volumes on the highway, it cannot take away a travel lane. That's why the right shoulder has been temporarily removed. In that right lane is where a pickup truck rear-ended a disabled car on Wednesday. Both vehicles caught fire. Two people inside the car died while the pickup truck driver was hurt. FDOT says there is an emergency stopping area on the inside lane of the bridge. FDOT plans to work with law enforcement to get details of the crash and review for potential safety enhancements. FHP says charges are pending for the driver of the pickup truck. At 6, we'll hear more from commuters and get their thoughts on the bridge's safety during construction. Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side.